Hey guys, how's it going? Floodmon14 here, and look at that glorious deck leader, Pumpkin. <laughs> yeah, so uh, last episode we uh, finished up our first duel, and we actually had a second duel against Pegasus that went pretty uh, smoothly and crisply, thanks to one Senor Aqua Dragon. Unfortunately, we didn't draw him yet, but uh, I think I'll start first turn. Yashinoki, please. Kill me. And I will end my turn. Alright. Third round three. Fight. Finish. Alrighty. Uh, I, I don't know what I was thinking. I was, well, actually, I was thinking there. I was like, hmm. Can I use... Uh, get a dragon zombie, but no, I already had the plant on the field, so, eh, it's all good. I end our turn. There's also some really good music, by the way. Just want to point that out. All right, what do we got this turn? Can't? Man. Heart of the cards. Heart of the cards. That, that still exists in Bulls of the Roses, right? Maybe not. And, like, I know that may sound controversial and all, but the only reason I say that is because Duels of the Roses... Oh, so those are all monsters. Interesting. Duels of the Roses, like, the card drawing... It's unlike any game, Yu-Gi-Oh! game, I've ever seen before it. And what makes me say that is, like, for example, look what I'm about to do. I'm emptying out four cards out of my hand. You know, all, all, like, normally you'd have to normal summon each of these monsters over the course of, like, four turns, right, if we're talking about standard vanilla Yu-Gi-Oh! But no, like, Duelist of the Roses is really uh, unique. Well, and I kind of like that it's unique in that way because, yeah, dude, like, drawing cards in this game is honestly not a problem unless you're just really like well yeah, I don't want to insult anybody but also if you're just kind of new to the game and uh, let's pay attention here okay so that card next to him is a spell or a trap but yeah also if you're like really 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 new to the game and you only play oh good you only play like one monster a turn I could also see that being as a problem you know as far as your summon level and maintaining things but even here like you see we drew all new cards and we got aqua dragon so it's really it's not even no issue whatsoever um i will summon this and move it here hmm. okay and next i'll probably play like well no, no, no i'll probably do the same thing as last time i'll try to have aqua well i mean in the very very first episode have Aqua Dragon kind of, you know, kind of patrol the left side, spring Yami onto the, the east side, I mean the right side. That's in the turn. <laughs> but that's, uh, oh. Well, Aqua Dragon, you may be going down, buddy. Nice knowing you. A double fusion ha. Dangerous, dangerous, sir. Yeah, and he's leaving that bad boy in attack mode, and honestly, I don't blame you, partner. I don't blame you. Alrighty. Well, let's uh, see what he potentially fused. You've got to be kidding me. There's no... I would have never thought he had that fusion in his deck. This guy just fused for an Aqua Dragon of his own. I'm like a thousand percent sure. Okay, well, first of all, this is right in front of our face. So let's activate Infinite Dismissal and I'm a thousand. You're talking to Flood, bro. I know Aqua Dragon in my soul. And I know that a high level Aqua and a Dragon, as long as it's below 2200 equals aqua dragon that's an aqua dragon and i've got my eye on him buddy i've got
get my Millennium Eye on you. That's right. That is right. I see through your cards, Pegasus. That's right. Alright. Yeah, so this card right here is Aqua Dragon. I just have to remember because... Yeah, uh, anyway, I will move right here, and I'll try to battle this monster next turn, whatever it is. Uh, in the meantime, in between time, let's... Perfect. Got the Ancient Tree, that is good. Uh, let's start moving Yami to the right, as I said. Okay, turn and down. Alrighty. Dun, da da Unlike last goal, though, he hasn't really been as confident in attacking, um, uh, in attacking our, uh, like, you know, last school, how he kind of ran into Parrot Dragon and it was hilarious. Unfortunately, in this school, he hasn't really done much of the same. And, bro, why would you leave stuffed animal in a, what are you doing? Why would you leave this in attack mode? This card's hella weak. Hella weak, son. I mean, thanks for letting me do damage to you. I appreciate that, but... Maybe it's because my deck leader was so close. I, I, it's, <laughs> I can't think of any other good... Like, what? Come on, Pegasus. Your AI is better than that, bro. It's just stuffed animal. Wall up, bruh. Yeah, and this card isn't a tune card either. It just kind of gave it the strong and tune terrain for an obscure reason. Yeah. Roar, zombie Mario. <laughs> All right. Very good, Aqua Dragon. Proud of you. Well, now that my life points are safe, I feel free to move here. Oh. Like I said, Pegasus, you're not the only one with the Millennium Eye. I knew that was a trap card, and that's why I ran right into it with my trap card. Mmm, no trap for a trap, Pegasus boy. Or Pegasus man, or whatever. Uh, I guess I... Well, now I know I have Ancient Tree of uh, Enlightenment, but I kind of want something of his to run into this before I flip it over. Hmm dilemmas. I also want to see if I can... Uh, now, this is a magic card, right? Hmm. Well, next turn, I think I might be using uh, the ritual card for not a ritual, let's say. Let's end the turn. Yeah, yeah. End your time, fool. End yourself. Alright. What you gonna do? What you gonna do, pig? Yeah, run into my trap. Aha! I knew he had Aqua Dragon, guys. I knew it. How dare you? All right, let's pay attention to the decrease. Ooh, okay. So both of the cards... Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Both of the cards on the uh, left side here, these are both either magic and or trap cards. So what am I gonna do? Well, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move uh, this away, if I can. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, if I can. Yeah, I probably should have played Ancient Tree of Enlightenment first. Now, that's my whoopsie. But, what I wanna do next, is I actually wanna play my ritual card right here. And this is the reason I didn't play Ancient Tree, because I was thinking of this, yeah, yeah. Since I know it's a spell trap, brain control, adios. Adios, that is really good. Okay. Now, what's this pumpkin at? Yeah, 3,000. You know what? Is that good enough? Well, especially if I'm going to change this side to Yami. Yeah, like, that's that's more than good enough. Let's keep going, pumpkin. Especially since Aqua Dragon's now... Yeah, really weak. Sorry, Aqua Dragon. That's... Well... But, I, like I said, I wanted to make that play regardless, so... Ooh. That is a powerful monster. Toon Summon Skull. Well, he ain't playing now. Pegasus is playing for keeps, y'all. Well, 
lightning strike. Ouch. Sorry, Aqua Dragon. I let you down. Man. Why are you holding this thing back, bro? This thing is hecka strong. Even with me decreasing it each turn, I mean, dang, 2400. That ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. That ain't bad at all, son. Alright, once again, let's pay attention to the decreases. Oh! So this card behind him is a, uh... What you call it? It is a spell or trap. Attack. Ah, what was it? Invisible Wire. Goodbye. Ooh, now, I actually got him on a non-tuned square. Can I beat him? Eee, not quite this turn. Darn. Oh, wait. Well, I have Grave Robber. Uh, what's all in the graveyard? Invin infinite Dismissals in the graveyard. Hmm. What's in his graveyard? Brain Control. What's in his graveyard? I'm going to play Grave Rubber right here, guys. Just, just a good feeling of mine. And we're going to go to the opponent's graveyard and take his brain control now. <laughs> All right. Next turn, buddy. Next turn. I'm assuming this is the thing with the highest attack. Although, I don't know. I could be wrong on his field. But, yeah. I, I, I think that's a safe assumption. And I'm not scared to move my leader. Because Toon Summon Skull can't move two on the sea terrain, so, you know, no reason to be afraid of that. Quite yet. And I'm surprised he didn't move on to... Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't move from here to, uh, to the tomb terrain, actually. I'm really, really surprised. Uh, but first, I guess I'll activate Yami here. Not as deep as I want it to go. But it is going to help a little bit. Not as much as I would hope for. But we do change the field a little bit. Go, Pumpkin. All right. So now I will play Brain Control. And like I said, I'm assuming Toon Tuff and Skull is your best, th best thing, bro. So uh, what's it going to let us control? Let's pay attention to the eye, the Millennium Eye. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Figured, figured. Now, what am I going to do with Toon Summon Skull? Well, first off, I'm going to move it here. Then I'm going to switch this to defense mode. And I'm going to... All I'm going to do is, since I control it, I can summon over it. So I'm going to summon over it. And I will... Summon... I will summon another pumpkin here in defense mode. Because why not? Doesn't really matter. Now, I'm not going to move this pumpkin in. Because obviously it hasn't powered up that much. But... Uh, yeah, that'll do. And that's actually one of the, uh, one of the few weaknesses of this strategy is that, um, yeah, if the later you play Pumpkin, or, yeah, yeah, the later you play your Pumpkin, obviously the weaker it is going to be. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. Uh, uh, and he moved away. I guess I'll flip this one up. I didn't expect it to survive, honestly. Uh, let's just try to attack. Maybe he's done. Uh, uh okay, okay. I should have played Ancient Tree once again. Once again, guys, that's on me. But man, your Aqua Dragon has gotten hella weak, son. Hella weak. And I know that it changes the field to water. So let's keep being aggressive. Let's just go in with another pumpkin. Because why not? Kill Pumpkin! Attack his Aqua Dragon! Oh, wait, what? Why did it get so many... I know it reversed the field, but... Ooh, well, apparently I did my math wrong. I thought it would only get 500 more. And, uh... Whoops. <laughs> Sorry, Pumpkin. I let you down, bro. Whoops. Well, that's my whoopsie. Sorry, guys. Well, no need to watch the backlash. Because uh, that's kind of embarrassing on my part, honestly. 
Well, I'm assuming he's gonna attack. Oh no, wait, he can't beat that pumpkin. Hmm. Maybe this is good for us. Maybe he'll move right here. So he's gonna have 2050. Okay, 2050. I can remember that. 2050. 2050. Well done, Pegasus. You bested, you hoisted me at my own petard, so to speak. Yeah, I figured you'd move there. 2050. And now you're down to 1950. Yeah. Yeah, pump, pump, pump it up. All right, all right. Uh, let's see, so this will be 1950. Let's see what we draw here. 1950. Well, I don't want to waste Ancient Tree of Enlightenment. It's just too good. Uh, alternatively, what I could do... Hmm. We'll just defend for now. Yeah. That'll work. And I will end my turn. This Pump King is free. Now, are you going to play, like, Change of Heart or something? What are you going to do, Pegasus? Oh, you're just going to attack me. Okay. I actually expected a change of heart there, but you know what? I will take the effects. And we've seen Aqua Dragon attack plenty of times. And I don't want to see yours attack. No. How dare you. And now it should be down to 1850, right? I'm doing the math, right? All right. Ooh, all monsters. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Alright. So, we'll move here. Niwatori. Interesting. Big time. Deadly zombie gaze. Yeah, that's right. We only gonna watch my monsters attack. <laughs> Get out of here, drumsticks. <laughs> All right, we hear that pumpkin battle cry. All right, that went well. No traps. Uh, yep, yeah, gonna keep Doku no Rider right there. Uh, so now it's got 1850. Hmm, now I kinda have to do something. It is on a water square. So. Ah, and I just thought of the perfect something to do, Pegasus. It's time! Mighty Morphin time! Alright! Pterodactyl! Tyrannosaurus! Mastodon! How's that for a counterattack? That's right. Go, go. Power Rangers. How'd you like that, Pegasus? How's that feel? That's what you get for making an Aqua Dragon in my presence. Son, you're down to 1,300 life points. This is going pretty well, I have to say. If I could get this pumpkin over to the dark field, I could close it out for sure. But you know what? Let's, let's just keep playing cautious for now. Yeah. Mm. Interesting. Let's pay attention here. Wow. Yeah, he actually left himself wide open from the, uh, well, his left side. I think I've got a way for us to finish this, guys. So I know I got five monsters, but let's move this pumpkin here. Oh, okay, I did that in case this was a trap. Pumpkin, attack his life points now. Nice. 
and we're right at 20 minutes, so that is perfect. Perfecto. Couldn't have asked for this recording session to got, go any better. Aqua Dragon has been promoted. Wait, what? But wasn't ours, like, stupidly destroyed by me? Uh, I guess so, but oh well. Uh, what does he have in the graveyard? Ooh, yeah. Uh, invisible Wire, Mesmeric Control, Spellbinding Circle, all good trap cards. Well, let's try to get one of them. Uh... Oh. Oh, man, I was one off. It was that stupid teddy bear. Okay, I'll try for Mesmeric Control there. I'll try for Spellbinding Circle. Yeah, it is pretty bright, so let's try for it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I missed. Man, but I almost got Invisible Wire by one and Dragon Piper. Man, we got crap cards that time, but I can't really complain. You know, we did get three in a row in the episode before, so uh, yeah, can't really complain. Oh man, we need one more duel for a reincarnation. Eh, well, but I'm pretty sure my phone's at its limits. So as much as I want to do another one, I'll be a little more disciplined than that. And we'll just save. And uh, we will continue in the next episode, guys. So thanks for watching. And uh, well, I guess I will edit my deck roll here real quick here and throw in Mesmeric Control. Uh, what to take out? 20. Uh, probably Zombie Warrior, right? Actually, let me check my insects. Because I noticed I drew Cocoon of Evolution last episode. Oh, yeah, I only have these two. Jiraigumo and Kawagashi. Uh, I think in an earlier build in this deck, I had, like, a Needleworm or something. <laughs> That's the reason for the Cocoon. Uh, but yeah, we can totally take that out. And Mesmer Control in. That is a easy switch. Any other cocoons in this thing? I mean, just to make sure, I don't know. Hmm. Okay, that's good enough for now. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next recording session. Goodbye, all, and have a good weekend and a good day. See you around. I'll probably do, uh, yeah, just to let you guys know, I might do like uh, five or six duels off screen. Yeah, that way that would give me the next reincarnation and uh, the one after that. So just to let you guys know. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye.